Hi, I'm Little Scott. And this is Sublime. What? With Rome? Anyways, uh, we were going to do the classic YouTuber split coil test versus not split coil. Yes. Single coil versus split coil. Except I wanted to do it with three different kinds of single coil, of uh, split coils. And uh, Cody doesn't want to go home and get the other guitar. So we're going to do it with two different kinds of split coils. <laughs> Then um, we're going to use the Mustang for our bass tones. This is a proper single coil guitar with only two, so it's just an SS, so that it should be a little closer to a two humbucker guitar than a three, yeah. than a Strat would. That's why we're not using the Strat instead of this, just because we're keeping it with the two humbuckers. Right. <clears throat> we don't own a three humbucker guitar, because those things are ugly as shit. These are whatever single coils are in the um, Fender Competition Mustang. The, um, the reissue, the 97, 97 reissue? I think this is a 94. Yeah, the MIJ competition Mustang. So we're using that. The other guitars in this video are going to be the Chapman Ghost Fret Standard. Yeah, not the Pro. Right, so the, the Chapman Stan Ghost Fret Standard V1. Um, mm -hmm. And that has... Chapman pickups. Yeah, before they got better. Yeah. Um, the split coil and that is going to be the standard split coil sound. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> That's what you see. Then we're going to use the Charvel San Dimas Pro Mod. Uh, and the reason we're grabbing that one is because that has the no load tone control in it, which means that when the tone knob is all the way up, which is how we Cody always plays the guitar anyway, so it's going to be up on all the guitars. When the tone knob is all the way up on the Charvel, it bypasses the tone. It completely bypasses the circuit for the tone. So it should create a slightly different, I'm hoping more real single coil sound. Um, Listen, it also and then, depends on the pickups, really. Right. That's got a JB and then a bridge and a... 59? Yeah, 59 yeah. in the neck. Seymour Duncans. All right, um, so let's go ahead with the single coil. All the settings on the amp are going to be touched. They'll all be... Whatever they are. Like that. Cameraman, zoom in on that. You... The joke is that there is no cameraman. <laughs> What you couldn't see is that I immediately threw his wallet and all of the cards fell out. Yeah, that's standard in that issue of wallet. Oh god, that's not okay. Alright, bridge pickup time. Distortion? There it is. Just give me a um, just One a more. short, clean line on whatever pickup you feel. You want to do the other one too, just for testing sake. Okay, say okay. So we're just splitting it because you should already know the difference between split and humbucker. So we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. It's like a media difference. Yeah. That was the wrong chord. It's closer. It's also considerably louder. Yeah, because humbuckers are just wound a lot more. Yeah, but I figure if you split one, then it'd be like, I don't know, less nah. quiet. No, it just is louder. Ha! Ah. All right, um, Jesus. distortion. And 
and simple clean line. I like that you're just keeping with playing completely different lines every time. Let's go. One more go. I felt like the bridge was closer than the neck. Yeah, and I felt like I felt like this guitar was closer than the last guitar, but only really in the bridge. The neck didn't sound close at all. Yeah. Okay, uh, the, the lead lines, I felt, actually sounded pretty close. Yeah, they sound pretty good. Um, they sound good, yeah. It's definitely usable. I think this guitar is just really great. Well, we'll have to go over the footage, and I'm sure you guys will know how, you'll, how you think it sounds, but remember that you're always hit by YouTube compression, so what, it, what you're hearing is not necessarily what we're hearing. Not always. But sometimes, it's normally really close. Yeah. Like, it's close enough to make judgments. But it's not hot outside at all. <laughs> Anyways, I've been Metal Scott. And this is the Mesa Boogie Mark V. Mesa Boogie Mark V 25. Absolutely fantastic little lamp. Why don't you go ahead and get yourself just how much? Uh, $9.99. $9.99.99.99. What?